So, here sits a hunter waiting for a migrating elk to come by so he can fill his freezer. But going into the third day and the 30 hours of sitting in this blind with Molly, Molly's my decoy, she's not doing very well because no elk will come and visit her. And maybe it's because the snow's too deep and there's more snow coming. So when a person goes to the mountains or you stand in a tree for days and days on end, you get to think about a lot of things, especially the hunting aspect and the management of hunting and the management of predators and so on and so on. So on this trip, we had a chance to talk to a rancher. We had chances to talk to outfitters. And the subject always popped up about predators, whether it's black bear, grizzly bear, lions, so on, wolves. Wolves, main topic. Um, I actually had a chance to see two wolves on a trip to Colorado recently. And you can't mistake them for a coyote. So, in reading all the social media news about wolves and how they've devastated part of Lolo Montana's herd, which I used to hunt for 13 years, they've devastated some big game units where I see that, you know, there's no longer any hunting tags sold there. So what happens to the mom and pop stores? They make no money off the hunters because the wolves have devastated, and black bears have devastated big game populations. So we talked to an outfitter and he says, you think they'll be hunting in 20 years? And that subject just popped up and he might be right. Um, now Colorado is looking at possible wolf reintroduction. Looks like it's gonna be on the ballot to, for a vote. And I can guarantee you 100% when those wolves are dumped into a big game management unit, you're going to see big, anim big game animals drop drastically. You're going to see hunters quit hunting. And I firmly believe that's why anti-hunters want is to have less hunters afield. So what's the answer for that? I don't know, but no one, no judge, no politician seems to want to touch wolf management. They can be on the landscape, but you can't let them multiply to the point where they devastate complete game populations, devastate domesticated dogs and sheep and cattle. In Wisconsin alone, I don't know how many dogs they kill a year. I could share a video right now of a pack of wolves taking down two family dogs in the backyard and completely killing them right there. Four wolves on one dog, two wolves on another dog, but I couldn't stand to watch it, so I'm not going to post it. But maybe I will post it, just because I'm kind of pissed. So, I don't know what the answer is, but I don't quite understand why... Um, wolf people can somehow rationalize the devastation of game populations just to have wolves on the landscape. Wolves can be there, but they have to be managed. And that doesn't seem to be happening no matter what state you're in. So anyway, that's kind of my thoughts for today. And, you know, when you get to sit out in the mountains and the woods and the forest or on the lakes for days upon end you get to think about a lot of things in life and some things really piss you off and some things don't some things are good so anyway just thinking about things and thought i'd share it and wondering what's going to happen here in colorado when they do dump wolves in here it's going to change it's going to change a lot and I think wolf people need to wake up and smell the roses. Put them on the landscape, but you need to manage them. I don't quite understand their reasoning. 
So anyway, that's my thoughts for today. So I'm going to sit here and hopefully Molly's going to have a herd of elk run by me so I can fill the freezer. Because there's nothing wrong with that. So, hope you have a good day. See you later.